Hello everyone. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how do you edit league videos, etc. How do you um, set up your recording program? And I'm going to explain everything to you in this video. So hopefully I'm gonna help you out and you will have a slight idea how to start and carry on basically. So let's start. So first of all, I want to talk about programs that you actually need in order to start making progress. So the first program is you need a recording program, which in my case, I would recommend OBS. Basically, in this program, you, what do you need to set up? You need scenes. So for example, if you're playing League of Legends, you can you can, you can can press this button, you can um, type League of Legends, League of Legends, etc, etc, you, you, you press OK, you press plus then you go to game capture and then you go to display capture a thing to capture your client and the game separately so these are two separate things and you can add a bunch of uh, settings like a webcam etc etc you can google that on youtube that how do you how can you do that so what i'm gonna tell you now i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you a little bit how can you set up your obs so basically this is streaming this is not really important but for recording um, for recording, I kind of I kind of use Invent. It's basically a whenever you have Nvidia, you will have this option. If you don't have Nvidia, what you're going to do have is probably X two six four. So it's basically your processor or, or something like that, most likely in some cases. So if you have Invent. I use these kind of settings and they work just fine. You can see my qualities and videos. I mean quality. Um, you can. You don't really need to touch audio. Well, you can set up this. You can set up your desktop device and audio. Like I mean microphone. The video is going to be this. Uh, make sure to downscale to Lancers and make it four to five because that is a sweet spot for your videos. Then this. And the last thing you want to do, if you want to separate, if you want to record two separate audio, like if you want to record audio and your microphone separately, you need to go to your audio. No, you need to go to your output and click on these two, like two and three. And then what you want to need to do, you have to click on settings, advanced audio properties, and select the tracks you want your OBS to record. Second program. Second program, you need um, Audacity. Audacity is basically whenever you record a sound. So basically, in case this is this program right here, it's a pretty nice program. Whenever you use a sound, you can you can open. For example, I'm gonna open a random sound. For example, Alphonse, and basically it gives you this. You can adjust some settings, you can lower the sound, you can um, select whatever you want, you can go to effects, you can uh, select delay for example, we're gonna do that. So basically it just changes the audio, you can, you can go to effects and you can mess with these settings, you can see how they change everything, and you can work out. You can also go to YouTube tutorials and see how it goes. And, you can also check what can you do with your sounds, music, etc, etc. So the next program I want to talk about is Creator Suite. So Creator Suite is basically the program that lets me uh, to do all of those 3D animations. Whenever you see a video and you see a champion for, from a really close view, you sometimes wonder how did he do that? Well, the answer to that is that people are using Creator Suite. It's a free program designed by a, I think, Riot developer. So if you if you want to download it, it's it's free, and I'm gonna show you what can you actually do that. So whenever you have a game, you can you can download a, any game you want. So for example, I download the NASA's game. So we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna check the NASA's game. Alright, so whenever you're in the game, you want to uh, make sure your game is set to borderless. You can you can do that in video and borderless, select borderless, just like that. So the next thing you want to do, you want to go to your creator suit and just want to basically launch a program. And you will see it loads all the uh, particles that are green, while well, they turn green from red. That basically tells you that everything is loaded and ready to go. If there's something red then it's not loaded and you can't really 
sometimes you can you can work with it, but the recommended settings are that everything is unlocked. So what do you what can you do in the game? Most of the time, if you're trying to do 3D animations or or just record the game, make sure to dis disable announcer. Basically, it disables announcer, which um, says like double kill, um, minions have spawn, etc., etc. Then what you want to do, you go to UE and disable HUD, right? So disables all HUD. You you can see you can still see your health tabs and you can still see um the names and icons etc etc. But the thing is that you can't see anything else like just gameplay. So for recording, this is pretty good. Like if you want something you know to get better to 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 do something professionally. The next thing that you can do is disable mouse lines. So it basically disables mouse lines on the champions when you whenever you hover on them. The first you want to do inject DLL. It basically it's it's your your with your sky. You can you can change it. Then you can set skybox to make a difficult one that you you don't really need to add a different one. And you can go to misc options and usually what you want to do is particle fix and tree outline fix it lowers your fps but the view you get is way better and i mean it's just nicer to see but like it's recommended to set these if you want a better quality of video but if you don't if you don't really care you can leave like that then what you want to do the game objects you can you can bind your camera to champion smart shadows Sometimes your shadows kinda in some of the rift if you have your shadows enabled, your shadows kinda go crazy and they go all over the place, like they, they kinda glitch out. So what you want to do, you go to small shadows, click on it, and then you will have a perfect shadows that won't bug out. Then you can go to your sky. Your sky color is black but you already uh, set your sky color right in here if you want to remove it just press remove it and then you can make your sky green or, or something like that so if you go to camera and you press fps you can see that you can you can see the arrow just like that and you move with your numpad eight six four and two no five so these are these are the keys that you move with so your sky is the default one, right? If I go to creator suit and I'm gonna disable the, the sky and I'm gonna, for example, make it something like green, it will turn green. If, and, and similar to Rift, if you want to do green screen effects and later on edit it with Sony Vegas, you need to go to status and you need to disable environment. Then what it gives, it basically gives you the, like, there are some particles as well, but you can find, like, not necessarily in Aram, but in some of the rifts, you can find some walls that you can do green screen with. If my champion, for example, would be somewhere around here, like in this spot right here, I could do a really good 3D, for example, Nasus animation, not including that this is something. Keep in mind that this is Aram. If you go to summoner rifts, you can you can find a spot. Usually, it is near your base, near the wall. You can you can always find that, and you can easily just shot whatever you need, record it, and then use the green screen in Sony Vegas. So this is basically it for creator suit. I can't really I don't know really what to tell you else. You can just go to YouTube and. And just check how it works. Like I, m most of it, I just, I just literally told you. So the first thing you wanna learn about how to use Creator Suit is keyframe, because keyframes are mostly the most important thing in Creator Suit. Basically, you want to go to hotkeys, and then you just press on keyframes, and you can set it up. So basically, whatever I do, add keyframe. I, I do something like one confirm, clear keyframes. You don't really need that, and activate keyframes. For example, two, and that's it. You just you just go back to status, and basically how it works: you press one, you go further here with your uh, numpad and FPS enable. You you press one again, you go here for example, and you press one again. And if you want to see how it works, you can press two, and basically it shows you what you just did with your keyframes. If you don't really like something, you can go to your keyframes again. 
and basically whenever where you can see key fr keyframes you can see i have five keyframes every each of it has a plus you can mess around you can check the replay time um keyframe length so it's a length that it shows you you can change it as well you can you can mess around with it and see how it goes so that's basically it for this program now we're gonna move on on sony vegas let's say you just don't with sony vegas and you have no idea how to do so i'm gonna literally explain everything to you well most of it what you can do how it can you edit and how do you get started in sony vegas so let's say you just don't with sony vegas the first thing you want to do is go to Project Video Properties, this is the little thing right here, you press on it, you want to select HD 1080, this one, basically, 1080 60i, and it just carry on. Then what you want to do is go, go here, you can actually select, like, if you want 30 FPS, you can select this one, NTCC, to be exact, we can actually, you can also select 50, and you can select 59, sometimes, for some people, whenever they select, for example, the last one, which is 60, and they try to render something, it just crashes for them all the time. So maybe it's because you can't, your computer can't really handle it, or there are some, some problems going on. So you might want to change it to 50 or 99 and see if it's going to render for you again. So that's basically how you can fix that problem. And these are basically just two settings that you want to change. You can go to browse and and like do this i don't know if this is necessary i did that to myself and usually what you want to do is press start all projects new project with these settings apply and okay and usually whenever you open sony vegas and you try to put a file into sony vegas it usually says do you want sony vegas to use the requirement settings for your files and you press no and just always no because you're already like select that right so you did that you're editing this video right so what do you want to do how do you render if you have a finished work you just double click and you see these two yellow kind of a triangles it's like the the format you want to render just go to file render as and then this is the folder that is going to render the video to you can name your file. Usually what you want to do is go to Sony AFC MVC MP4 and you want to search for the internet 9020x1080 30p. So you can also click on star on it and then you can click on show favorites only. And this is a good thing for you because usually you just click on this and it already shows you and you can instantly just render it just like that. The next thing what you want to do, you have a Audacity program that you want to mess with your sounds in Sony Vegas, right? So if you want to add Audacity in Sony Vegas, you need to go Options, Preferences, Audio, and Browse. And you basically need to locate where your Audacity, so at this point I go to C, Program Files, Audacity, and I click on this, just like that. That's all you need to do. This is basically how you set up Sony Vegas. All right, so let's say you have footage and you want to make a video, right? So the first thing you want to do, you want to pre press S on your keyboard. It basically splits your video and you can do this. If you want to um, move your sound, but you can, like it moves just these two, right? You need you need to press on this the, the letter U and you can you can move this separately now so this is really important all right so if you want to zoom in into something you just go to video um, usually press on this one because it's needed like that if you press it if you're gonna press somewhere in the middle of the video it's going to kind of do something you don't really want so basically whenever you go to video you need to press on this square right here and you get this one usually this one and this one is going to be selected and for example this one can be selected so and select this one and now you can like zoom out and you can zoom in just like that right if you want to like these two then you can do it like that like it doesn't do that so basically how do i usually zoom in into my webcam it's something somewhere around here so basically what i do i just zoom like that and i just find a sweet spot 
so want to do that if you want to for example if you want to follow a champion with your camera in Sony Vegas you basically can just zoom in right and this is this is the video length right here so you can see it follows it I don't know like why it doesn't follow in there all right so now it follows so it's need to be clicked so now it follows and it basically you can see there and there that moves so if you want to see, if you want to follow the face, you can zoom in and the dot can be on my nose. So frame by frame, you can follow me, like follow the nose. And this is going to take a while. So whenever you're finished, you, you should get a result something like this. Hello everyone. Your camera I should follow thank you your face for just like that. Five hundred, and it just just does that basically. It's not really it's not really great because I miss a lot of uh, you know points where I could use like move my camera, but it, I, I I did it kind of fast so you can kind of uh, get an idea how can you do that. So basically that's that, then what you can do is you can click on this, it basically opens a bunch of effects, so if you want to make your game a little bit smoother, so what do you want to do then, you need to press on this kind of a triangle or I don't know, event fix, fx, it's just, it's called like that. You can go to brightness and contrast and what you want to do, you can increase your contrast to make the video a little bit better um, this video has already a contrast in it so basically the video before looked like this some, some something like this but now it looks like this so you can kind of get the idea of it then when you do that you can go to the fix again you can press on this so you're gonna add a new one and leave the last one remaining then you want to go to center color corrector okay so what you want to do is you can press on this default and you can uh, use your arrows to kind of find the one that you need so you have red mi red midtones you have green midtones you have blue midtones red highlight um Red highlight works best for me at least. Then we have a green highlight, blue highlight, remove yellow case, cast, and that's basically it. So that's for that. Then if you're wondering, if you want to, you know, cut something out, for example, if you see me and you don't want that background, but you want me, what you can do is again, press on the square and you can press on mask right and then you need to select this enter creation tool you click on that and if you want to move like your screen you press control and use your mouse so basically you just click on this click on this and I'm gonna do this really quickly so you know you just get the idea of what I'm trying to do <laughs> And when you're almost finished, what you want to do is just click on the last dot and select this one and everything should go yellow. That basically tells you that, all right, we're gonna crop it now. So basically you have this. It's not really, it's not really good looking because I kind of did it in a really fast, you know, moment. But basically this is what you have. 
You can also go to settings, I think, somehow. But uh, if you if you want to figure out how to like work with this, you can go to YouTube and just search how to use Enter Creation Tool in Sony Vegas, and that's basically that's that's that. And if you have this and we have a video, you can just right click, insert video track. You can move this right here, and you have this just like that. And I mean, it's in movement right now. So what you want to do is just, if you want to, like, you know, if you want just, if you want the video not to move, what you can do is just press S, you just delete this, and you, all, all you want right now is this one. So you go right click, you go to insert, remove envelope velocity, find this uh, little dot right here, you right click and set to zero velocity. And basically now you have a non-moving video and you can stretch it out as long as you want, just like that and nothing is moving. So basically now you have a view just like this. Hello everyone, and I wanted to say thank you second thing I want to talk about is how can you make your video faster or you can make your video slower. So basically in this case if you want to do that, for example you want this bit Hello, everyone. to be faster, you press S, you press S again and then you kind of move these a little bit further away and now you press Control, press on this line right here and you just stretch it out. And now your video is going to be slower. Hello, everyone. But if you stretch it inside, I don't know how you call it, like you, know, you make it smaller basically. Now the video should be faster. Hello, everyone. Yeah, just like that. All right, so probably now you're wondering how a green screen works. I'm gonna show you, you wanna just insert audio track, insert another audio track. You move the video you want here I have the only audio. If you don't really want this, you can insert one more audio and move this down here. So, basically, how a green screen works, you just select the tab you want. I'm gonna delete this because it's not needed. <laughs> so this is a rain green screen. Uh, you can you can search for a lot of green screens if you want to. It's just one of that I have. So how you want this green screen in your video to be like good looking, um, basically what you want to do is just click on the event fix, just like that, and uh, you want to go to Sony Chroma Keyer, you press OK, then you press on color, press on this one, and you basically find the green color in this video right here basically television you can call it and then you have this you can mess around you can you can do something like this you can you can do this we can do this or we can do this I'm probably gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something like um, this should be good all right so then you just go away you can also mess with the low threshold high threshold blur amount you can see it kind of disappears then you can see it appears. Um, sometimes it's useful because you have a lines that you can see from the green screen and messing around with the settings can kind of make your video more better. Like you won't be able to see any lies, lines or, or stuff like that. So yeah, this is basically what you get. Hello everyone, I wanted to say thank you for over 500. You can't really see it now because the color, but if I'm gonna do something like that, you can see it more better now. Hello everyone, and I wanted to say thank you for over. And yeah, this is basically how you use green screen. There are a lot of things you can do. You can as well just go to video effects, and you can. Let's say I'm gonna use swirl. So this is basically what most of well some youtubers use so basically if you want this you can just drag this out of you just click on this mouse click and drag on the video you want to use it on 
then you go to the video just like that and you can set and I, you can literally see the video now and you can adjust the amount you want just like that you can set it normal and for example if you want to make it animated you can go to animate and you also get this you know time that you can also do this and it should move yeah it moves and for example for example you can move right here you can do this then you can move here and you can do even more of this and then basically the the result you're gonna get is I this to say thank you for over it's lagging now because it's on best full uh if you want if you don't want it to lag and you want to see how it works the the like the view is not going to be that great but you kind of get you can kind of get the concept of it like how it's going to look so I wanted to say now it's not lagging and you can see 500. how it would look like you're probably wondering how can you add text so if you want to add text you also please on video um instant video track you, you just right click insert text media you can write anything you want Basically, the, the text I normally use is I scale it to somewhere around 400, 300. I go to outline, I make it the max, and I go to this and I make it just black. And then you have this kind of a text with black outline on it. So it's a well used text, as we could say. And if you want to do it animated, like if you don't want to put a lot of text, what you can do, you can press, you can press, <laughs> you can press on this, just go to text and you can basically just press on this, move it to where you want and you can add a different text and it will show you the different text. I wanted to say thank you for over. And if you want to animate text, once again, you just press on the square and you just go in here. So basically, if you want to animate it somehow, you can move your time to one minute. You can move like that. We can go 10 seconds and you can move that there. And basically, the result is this. I wanted to say thank you. That's basically how you use it. You can also add some effects to it as well. If you want, you can add effects wherever you want. But yeah, this is basically the old video, or basically how I edit my videos. Um, this is not all of it, like how do I exactly edit my videos, but this is the most of it. And I really hope I somehow helped you out and got you started and making video stuff or something like that. Or, or just in general, I showed you some things that you didn't know about Santa Vegas. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna see you next time. Adios.